Okay, let's identify interview with the chairman of CTU, Barbados Minister, um, Mr. Silly. Thank you. The CTU has just launched this industry insight, European industry insight 2014 to trade and countries here. Give us the significance of a publication like this for Caribbean tourism. Well, I mean, it's important that you, we have insights that policymakers and planners can stay current, can understand basically what's trending, uh, especially in these times when everything is happening so fast. Um, we, we constantly hear that, you know, booking windows are shortening. People are using um, the information at their fingertips to make travel decisions, which means the internet. So, so, so everything is occurring at breakneck pace. And, um, and, and therefore, we, we, we need to have the information in order to, to, make, to make decisions that make sense. There are some interesting findings in there in terms of the food, the, the beach, uh, the preferred areas, what they liked about the Caribbean. But it does suggest too that while there are areas that we should be happy, but the Caribbean can't really just sit on its laurels and say everything is all right. Absolutely. I mean, gone are the days when the beach alone would have done it. People, people want to, to experience different things when they go on vacation. So they, they, we have to push the various niches, the sports tourism, heritage tourism, the whole experience, the culinary end of things, the culture, sharing it, offering it. Our visitors want to be a part of that. So when we market our tourism services to the world, we are telling people come and share in our culture. Come and experience what we are and who we are and not simply come and um, you know, have a leisure experience where you're simply lying down on a beach or around the beach for you know, a few days or a few weeks. So we, we really have to become far more sophisticated in terms of how we handle this whole creature of, that we call tourism.